Well, February 27th, uh, taking the pan out. I got almost all the bolts out. I've got a jack just lightly holding the pan up. Not a lot of pressure. And um, looks like I've got a little oil leak in the back. And there's an oil leak in the front that's been dripping down um, in the pan as well. So we're going to take the rest of the bolts out. I've already drained the oil, so should be some left in the bottom, but uh, we'll get that here soon enough. So we got the pan off. Uh, my son helped me with the jack. Uh, making sure that we turn the wheels all the way to the right so we get the pan out. Um, it's uh, pretty cruddy in there. So dump some of the oil out. I'm going to get the baffle out and then uh, get the, most of it out before I start cleaning it up. I guess the next thing I'll do is once I get this cleaned up, you want to check the bottom of the engine. Um, right now my oil pump's stuck in there. Um, we'll see why that is here in a little bit. So once you get the pan off, you want to inspect the bottom of your engine. You may need to do some extra work. So you want to check um, your clearances and all your rod and main bearing caps. Um, make sure you have all your cotter key pins in. Um, make sure everything's clean and neat. Um, you don't want to have anything put together loose. Um, if you have shims, you can see some visible here in the video. That means you can adjust. Um, you also want to take a look at your cam. Make sure that that's clean and the lobes look good um, before you put everything back together. And this will help uh, your engine run a lot longer um, than just doing the pan. And it can take a while uh, depending on how much time you put into it. Here you can see the baffle. Um, the best way to get the baffle out is to take the pan, flip it upside down and smack it on the ground. Um, you can see a lot of sludge in here so you probably make a big mess so make sure you're prepared for that and make sure you get the pan good and clean when you're done. The plug in the side of the block will need to be removed to help install the oil pump later. Once you have the pan clean, uh, inspect it for pitting, uh, any wear, scrapes. Um, my pan had a bunch of dents and scrapes that I had to go and actually take a press and, and press out um, and actually had some pitting that in the bottom, because of all the dirt and sludge, um, there actually was a hole and that actually had to be repaired. So either repair your pan, make sure it's leakless, um, or um, find another pan in better shape to replace your pan before you prep it. Um, once you get it all repaired, you're gonna go ahead and prime it. Um, make sure that it's uh, good and painted and all clean, ready for reinstallation into the vehicle. It's always a good idea to clean and rebuild your oil pump while you're doing the pan. It doesn't take long and it'll make your project last a lot longer. Now you're ready to insert the baffle and prep everything for installation into the vehicle. Once you have everything prepped, I would uh, recommend an article, uh, The Leakless Pan Gasket. Uh, this was in the Restore magazine in 2002. Um, it's very good. It tells you step by step on how to put your pan gasket in and make sure that you're not going to have any leaks. And that's it. So once you're done, you'll have a good, clean, leakless oil pan that you can use and get lots of life out of. Good luck.